Hi to everyone, your power Al here with another vlog. So on my way home from work today, I went over to GameStop and picked up this Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom because I pre-ordered it and this was the pre-order bonus. It's a fabric poster, which is pretty cool. I'm probably just going to keep it in this packaging. I'm not going to open it or anything. I don't really feel like putting up the poster. I have a lot of posters just from various things like GameStop pre-orders or Club Nintendo back when that was a thing that are just not put up. But uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to Echoes of Wisdom for quite a while just because um, the concept of playing through a Zelda game with Zelda as the main playable character is pretty cool. The closest we got to that would probably be Spirit Tracks. And then I guess... Hyrule Warriors? But, yeah. You play a Zelda here, you have to rescue Link, at least that's what it, uh, the trailer seems to be indicating, and you got Ganondorf. Or Ganon, really, that's uh, basically his 2D design there. But, um, yeah. The gameplay from the trailers, I have not seen anything spoilery, I've just been paying attention to what has been officially revealed. For the most part, um, the gameplay looks pretty interesting. Uh, you use Zelda's little rod here to solve puzzles and whatnot. Um, there's like a mechanic where you can duplicate an item like a bed or a box or whatever. Or um, you can also uh, copy the movements of enemies to solve puzzles or navigate around the world. Pretty interesting. I'm not sure, like, just how much depth there is to that mechanic, but it is pretty interesting, and I'm very curious to see what the game has in store. I don't know if there's going to be, like, the traditional dungeon that really has not been seen in Breath of the Wild or uh, Tears of the Kingdom, or if this is going to follow that open world aspect from those two games, but yeah. Um, I need to open this. So let me grab my handy dandy scissors here. And also my switch. Uh, it's always satisfying just taking out the plastic wrap of these games. Oh, you can see like a little Heart container in the box. Also, the back here says Princess Zelda must use her wisdom to save Hyrule. Mysterious rifts are threatening the kingdom. No one is safe, not even Link. With Tri at her side, Zelda can summon a wide variety of echoes. Uh, echo bridges to create bridges. Echo meat to use as bait. That's neat. Or echo monsters to fight for you. So, yeah. And then, um, there's the inside. So. I guess what I'm gonna do now, so, um, here is the cart. What I'm gonna do now, I guess, is just play for a little bit and then give my thoughts. So I just finished the first dungeon. This is what my progress is looking like. I have five hearts and I upgraded my sword meter to level two. So the game is pretty fun. Um, I would be playing more, but I am actually about to head to bed soon. The premise of it is very enjoyable. You play as Zelda, of course, and you have this magic rod that's given to you by this creature, I guess. I don't think they actually said what kind of creature Try is, but uh, Try gives you this magic rod that lets you copy enemies, objects, and such to solve puzzles. And Try can also um, make you... like. Try can basically connect you to moving objects and you can follow their movements. So there's a lot of cool ways to solve puzzles. The game does a pretty good job with the tutorial of things. And just from the start, there's a wide variety of things that you can do once you uh, copy or echo um, enough objects. And you can like, echo enemies to fight other enemies, which I think is really cool. And then, in the first dungeon, 
you um you fight i guess a shadow or an imposter of link and once you beat that uh you get the ability to transform into link for a little bit and that's dependent on your i'm gonna call it the sword meter like i did earlier but um that runs out it looks like fairly quickly at the start of the game, but you can upgrade the sword meter to either last longer or I guess to do more damage. You, you need to find a uh, type of crystal to do that. But the game gives you enough to improve your sword meter after beating the first dungeon. So yeah, um, I do like, I do like the game though. Um, the focus more seems to be on puzzle solving, which I am decent at, there was a uh, chest in the first dungeon that was giving me a little bit of trouble even though the solution was very simple. But uh, yeah, the combat, it's not typical of a normal Zelda game. I mean, it is once you get the sword transformation ability to, again, transform into Link, but because that is... Uh, on a limited timer that you can only refill after getting like energy to do so the focus in combat is more so on like your ability to use echoes to uh your advantage which i think is very interesting it's a very different take on combat in zelda games and um yeah it looks like the game does have a bit of an open world element to it because after beating the first dungeon uh, the game is like, you can either go to this spot on the map or this spot on the map. And I'm like, okay. The game isn't exactly telling me which one to do first. So I assume it's just, again, whatever the game wants you... Um, like, whatever you want to do at your own leisure. And the game has a fairly big map, it seems. So I'm very interested to see, like, the various different locations. It looks like there is a volcano area that may or may not be Death Mountain. There's a place called Jabul Pond, which makes me think it has something to do with like Jabu Jabu or Jaboon from other Zelda games. There's Gerudo Desert, which I have to go to. It's where one of the rifts go. But like, yeah, you uh, have to, to basically seal these rifts and rescue Hyrule, which is interesting. But, yeah, for a uh, first impression, it's pretty nice. Um, the game does fake you out if you haven't seen any of the trailers where you play as Link in, like, the very beginning and then you fight Ganon, although they haven't really called him Ganon yet in the story, but you fight him for, like, a little bit of a tutorial-esque on, like, Link's combat, but then after that, you play as Zelda for, like, the rest of the game, it seems like. I'm having fun though, so uh, yeah. Actually, um, I was gonna end it off, but I just wanna quickly point out that, like this has nothing to do with the game or anything, but just a little thing to end off the vlog with, but it's been a year already since I paid off my last student loan. Time has flown by. It's been a nice weight off my chest, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to make note of that because um, student loans are not fun. And I'm glad that a year has passed since I uh, have not had to worry about that. Okay, that's it. Just wanted to make a quick note of that. I'm just going to end it off here. Thank you all so much for watching. And see you next time for another vlog. Later. Oh, I also love the, uh, the art style. I didn't get to play the Switch version of Link's Awakening. I mean, I played the Game Boy Color version years ago on the channel, but the Switch version of it looked neat, and it's nice to finally play this game since this is my first foray into that particular art style. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna end it off here for real now. Later.